What is happening everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to fix some depth problems when you're working with Feyen. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm basically trying to track this wall. But because there is a whitewash on that part of the video, Feyen cannot find any decent tracking points for it to attach the track to and to continue tracking for the full video. So we'll take a look at fixing it manually and to sort of, uh, you know, adjust the track a little bit uh, when it's needed. So getting started, I'm going to select this video, Effect, Feytek, Feyen, select the tutorial project over here, Add Track. And you'll see awesome people that because of the whitewash, there are no contrast points for Fein to understand the track too. And because of this very reason, it won't be able to do a proper track on this. But anyways, awesome people, what I'll do is I'll still try to track this part of the wall. And you can see that we are having uh, some shadow lines over here because of the wall being a little inside. We will use this as a visual cue for us uh, to fix the track later. So I'm gonna start. Uh, with the rectangle region tracker and I'm gonna create a box and awesome people I'm gonna take the static area option and I'm gonna click on start Now again awesome people I'm gonna speed up the video a little bit and I'm gonna be back when this is done Now once the tracking is over awesome people if we were to click on the active button to take a look at the overview report for the track You'll see that it says okay in orientation XYZ But depth awesome people you'll see that it gives me this place check error so if I was to preview this video for you guys, you'll see that the placeholder created by Fayer is not sticking to that wall properly, instead it is just sort of floating around in the Z space of the video. So how do we fix it? Well, if you want to fix something like this awesome people, you need to be working in the virtual grid. And once you're here, or if you're already here, click on this tool right now. And once you do, you'll see that you get this gizmo in your screen. And the idea awesome people is to basically use this tool for changing the Z depth uh, of the placeholder. Okay, now I'm going to switch off and this is how I like to work. I need like to switch off the place and folder and again come to track one, click on active. And if you do this now, you'll see that now awesome people, you're only working with the boundary. This in my opinion is a lot better and click on that Z changer once again and you'll see awesome people that in the at the start of the video i told you guys that these uh, shadow marks are going to be working as visual cues for me so i'm going to place my first point over here i'm going to place my second point right there place a third point over there and fourth one is good over here now this is good for my first frame if i was to jump to my one second mark you'll see that this is not where it is supposed to be. So the first point awesome people was supposed to be somewhere over here. Second point was supposed to be somewhere there, third over here and fourth there. So it's not working right. We need to change this awesome people. And what we'll do is we will click on this tool. Again, awesome people, I'm gonna jump to my one second mark. Click on this tool right? and you can change the Z depth of your track like this. You can see this, how I'm pushing it behind for this to match the visual cues. I'm gonna go to the second frame now. Go to the third second to see if something is wrong or no. And you'll see that it is moving a little bit, so I can push this a little bit ahead now. Go to four seconds. Like that. Fifth second. And you'll see also awesome people that if you fix like one frame, one or two frames at the start, Fane is gonna understand uh, the movement and the position changing on its own. So that's a very good thing. Fane can really just understand the camera path, the camera motion, and uh, the, the, the Z depth just based on one, two keyframe editing. So that's gonna save you a lot of time. As you can see, we really didn't work with a lot of keyframes over here. You just fix like two or three keyframes. I'm gonna go to the last frame to see if everything is perfect or no and it is awesome people so now awesome people if i was to switch on uh, the fay and placeholder you'll see that it is very small right now so it doesn't matter how small so if you're walking awesome people and when you start pushing the z depth changer and the place in placeholder gets very small that's okay it doesn't matter we can always come here and increase the scale of the placeholder the important thing is to understand and to always get that sticking part the tracking part right now once this is done, I'm going to replace the placeholder with the graffiti for you guys to see this better. And you can see that it is very small, so I can always just increase the size like this. Right? 
Now awesome people, I'm gonna change the blend mode to multiply for this to blend in a little bit better. And it's not looking very realistic right now, it's okay. We can go to FX and presets, type in brightness and contrast, apply it to our graffiti and increase the brightness to 70, 75 and change the contrast to minus 50. And this is looking a lot better now. So if I was to preview this, you can see that the graffiti sticks properly to that back wall. Now, in order to complete the shot, awesome people, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of rotoscopy on this wall for it to give like a coverage on the graffiti and to add a little bit of realism to it. Same thing over here. Now, there's one quick way of doing it, but it won't give you a very perfect result. I'm gonna duplicate my video file and I'm gonna get a basic error that fade can only be applied to one video in the composition. I'm gonna keep the other video, the one that I just duplicated, on top of the graffiti. I'm gonna go to FX and presets, type in Luma key, apply it to my video, solo out my video, and I'm gonna increase this. Sorry, I'm gonna change this to key out brighter, bring in some parts like this. First, to unsolo this layer, you can see that yes, we are getting that coverage effect, right? So this is not perfect because you can see that there are some edges problem, but this sort of gives you like a demo file, you know, then once your client approves what you're thinking or what you have, you can sit down to roto this properly. So that is how you fix uh, some depth problems in Faye and Awesome People. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel Zen Gen Learning and I will see you all next time.